is 16. It has two numbers. Which, it seems awfully complicated for something that, that will do that, but... So how, so how does it work? So, let's grab a pencil. Because you still need to use a pencil, even though this is ostensibly a calculator. So, um, give me two numbers between 0 and 15. Uh, 9 and 10. 9 and 10. Okay. So, these are our two numbers. Um, each, each of these dip switches is one 4-bit number. So, our first number is 9. That will be 1's place. Uh, this is embarrassing. And 8's place, I believe. That's 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 9, right? Yep. And then the next one will be similar. Um, 2 plus 8 is 10, and these numbers are in binary, which you probably figured out, and then our output is all the way over here, and that should show the sum of 9 plus 10, or 19, in binary. So 16 plus 2 plus 1 is 19, and this will work for numbers all the way up to 15 plus 15. Oh, I turn them all off. If we turn them all on, sixteen plus eight plus four plus two will give us the sum of fifteen and fifteen. And then you can try this with any combination of these dip switches, giving you any one of those sums, and you go through all of these um, logic gates here. So these these are all discreetly packaged logic gates and I have to run these through all of these hook them up there essentially this gives me two bits of output and this gives me two bits of output and so I have a total of four bits and it's not very user-friendly and most of it is math that you could do in your head but it's still pretty complex judging simply by the number of pins I had to connect in all of those logic gates.